season. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to live on Mix 92.6. It's an Auburn City Football Club versus Worthing FC. They're already looking dangerous. The arm goes up in the air from the left-hand side. They fling it into the box. He's unmarked, and there's a bit of a tussle. It comes off the post. A crucial save from Michael Johnson, and it's gone in already. Devastation for Worthing. And already they're one up, and it is that man, the ultimate marksman, Ollie Pierce. It's a devastating start for the Saints. Worthing, the Rebels, have disrupted the status quo here at Clarence Park. There are unsavoury scenes going on the commentary gantry, <laughs> the ultimate percussion. But rather, it's an absolute disastrous start and circumstance. It's 1 0 already. It is the worst possible start. We said there'd be goals and fireworks, but if Worthing can dish them out, you can bet St Albans will do the same. A bit of trickery from Girozzulo down the right-hand side. Immediately the ball being sent up. Cross in, and there's number 12, Mitchell Bees! It's in straight away! <laughs> Unbelievable stuff! Slotted in with the right foot in the six-yard box. Mitchell Bees is there to calmly and composedly put it in. Is composedly a word? You can bet I don't care. It's one all here at Clarence Park, and inside two minutes, it's two goals. He did track Jack James, it was. Tracked back very well. Immediately, the free kick taken. Mitchell Bees again. Surely not for two. It's a great save there by Ollie Wright. A crucial save. Just stings the gloves, actually. It was well centred, but Mitchell Bees. Calm and collected inside the box, crossed in again towards Sean Jeffers, but the danger is quickly dispelled. Really, they're countering each other defensively, but it also means in attacking terms, where they leave the gaps, there is all the opportunity in the world as Joe Felix finds the little gap, goes back to the number two, Ollie Pierce, and he's cropped. The referee says, no, sir, no chance. That was a penalty. Ben Smith does extremely well to win that one on one against Kane Wills. Rizzullo now has the ball. And Jeffers is in loads of space down the left-hand side. Rizzullo spots a great ball. And there could be a chance for the cross here. Should Jeffers go for it? He does go for the cross. And it will be headed behind the goal line for a corner for the Saints. Mitchell Visto picked out in the centre again. Rizzullo puts the arm up. Eyes up his opportunity. Spots the Predator in the box. Can he find the head of Aidan Francis Clark? No, he can't. But it finds Joe Partington. The shot goes absolutely into the stratosphere. It was a decent effort, a decent curling effort. Had it been uh, several metres lower, looks like Ollie Pierce is right in position to take this. The referee blows his whistle. The stance is taken. It's actually the number 16, and it's a great free kick. That is devastating, but I will admit it was a class free kick. My words are certainly eaten. Jack Spong soaked up the pressure previously and he's unleashed an absolutely beautiful curling effort into the side netting. He gets it to Aidan Francis Clark onto the right hand side on the centre line. Finds Gio Rizzullo who turns beautifully out of the space and finds Sean Jeffers who is allowed to run a little bit in a pocket of space. Jack James running down the wing. Cross comes in. Dom Hutchinson! And that's another one! St Albans have two. Worthing have two. A great cross from Jack James. Find it square on the head of Dom Hutchinson. It's another smash and grab for the Saints. And the Clarence Park faithful erupt and ignite into life again. Two all here at Clarence Park. Again, I don't know if you can all hear this and I apologise because we've had a few connection issues and I don't really know why. But if you are still with us, Aidan Francis Clark is on the ball on the left hand side in a pretty decent position. Finds Ben Smith, who's been closed down quickly, so has to play this intelligently and does. Back to Francis Clark, crosses it in. Hutchinson in space, one touch, shot just wide of the right post. Incredibly close there, and again, it's like, like we've been saying. You've got to be in it to win it. Every opportunity is going to count here today. Big stipulations to think about in terms of the remainder of their season. St Albans have to win this game, currently drawing, and it's paid very well by the opposition. Team up to Joe Felix, squares it towards the edge of the box, and it's another set piece given away by St Albans. Aidan Francis Clark draws the foul, and it's a yellow card. Jack Spong scored the last one. You can almost guarantee he's going to take this one again to try and create double the trouble, although he won't. It'll be the number, well, it won't be the number 10, it will be Jack Spong again, and a good save from Michael Johnson this time. No set-piece goal for you this time, Worthing. Had a one-on-one -on -one briefly, immediately sent back to Joe Partington. We will have time and space to figure out proceedings. Francis Clark might have a yellow, but that's not bruised his confidence even slightly. A little bit of a, a, little bit of a deflective squirmish, and Mitchell Vies is there. Cross comes in, 
and Worthing do deal with it briefly, although for how much longer, Kane wills for the opposition. Queen's going to be swirling in the back right now, I think more than we imagined it might. And I think both teams are just struggling to get it under it. Bit of aerial space, Rizzullo had a great opportunity there to potentially shoot. And there is a ball, dangerous ball in the box there from Jack James, nothing coming from it. Just Hutchinson though, finding his way through. I'm seeing the connection flickering on and off, and Rizzullo's in loads of space. There's a big chance here. Gio Rizzullo, surely! Oh, big save from Ollie Wright. We are connected. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Mix 92.6. I do apologise. We've had connection issues. I'm just going to rabbit through things while we're actually still connected. Although it's gone through to Brad Dolohan. One on one v Michael Johnson, and it's in! It's another goal for Worthing. It was in acres of space. The defence almost lost, well, they lost touch and lost the communications completely there. It's a devastating scenario once again. A sucker punch after what was a great spell of play from the Saints. Brad Dolohan had so much space. Michael Johnson, hands on his hips. He can't believe it. On a form, lost four in their last five. To be only 3-2 down and actually have scored two goals. That's a great pass from Mitchell Vies. Sorry, I'm going to mince my words for two seconds here. Dom Hutchinson again, another one-on-one. -on -one. Potential to shoot. Cuts him beautifully. And a great save from Ollie Wright at the near post. He's absolutely irate at his defence. Hutchinson, though, with a great piece of play. Twisting and turning one way and the other. Tying the opposition defence in knots. Uh Potential here for a Worthing attack. Brad Dolohan goes for a, the spectacular... And it ends in a simmer. We have those indeed. Let's hope for many more. Rizzullo will fling it in towards the box. The header of Sam Brown. It was a venomous header. But over the bar it goes. It sails over. But a very, very powerful effort there. Jack James and space found there by Gio Rizzullo. And they're both linking up with the one-twos. Although Rizzullo, a little bit of a push and a shot. But he was checked out. Dolohan will have the shot. And comfortably saved by Michael Johnson. Again, in the very short shorts from the club store, which you can get right now. Whether you want to use that as a distraction, that's a great ball to Jack James again. Surely the cross has to go in. Mitchell Vies almost on his head. Rizzullo with a shot. Big save there from Ollie Wright. Another shot on target there for the Saints. Hands on his hips. Eyes up. That is a man brimming with confidence as he fires it in. Big chance on the header for Mitchell Vies. There's a scuffle in the box, but it will head its way out for another corner. It's all the mental game. Who wants this more? At the moment, St Albans are making a very good case for themselves. Again, it's fired in. Francis Clark, and it's blazed over. And up. There's loads of space. Jack James will be sent through. It's Mitchell V's. My apologies. Mitchell V sent through. Danger Man Central. Back to St. Banton. Oh. Big save from Ollie Wright. Oh. Banton with effectively his first touch of the game. Yeah, Mizzoulo just his cross is letting him down. It's unlike him. But uh, yeah, fantastic pressure from St Albans. Something he has to give you, surely. Forgot to mention Jake Berger's on, by the way. I believe Dom Hutchinson's gone off. He did have a twinge in his hamstring in the first half. And there's so much space for Jack Spawn. Can he shoot? Can he score? He does. And that's what happens when you don't take the chances. So much offensive pressure. So much offensive optimism. He's thrown straight into pessimism. Worthing now have a 4-2 lead. They've been waiting for an opportunity like this. Again, another bit of defensive lapse from the Saints. And it's cost them in the biggest way. The goal deficit increases to two. It's an Auburn City two, Worthing four. And so the danger is dispelled. Jack James can now have a go against Danny Cashman. Does incredibly well to shake him off. And so the, the ball will be played to Jake Berger. Being quickly closed in by Joe Felix, but he knows that. He's got eyes on the back of his head as Jake Berger. Banton plays it back to Berger on the edge of the box. What can Berger do? Has the shot! Big save again from Ollie Wright. A very good effort from Jake Berger, stinging the gloves. Greg Lua it goes. Fresh legs. What can Sam Brown do? He finds Joe Felix, who's still got good pace on him. And St Albans tracking back here, cross comes in. Francis Clark does very well to get in the way of that. Jack James masquerading as a striker here, but St Albans have got to throw everything. The kitchen sink, the rest of the B&Q department has to go into this offensive play now for the Saints. And they're doing everything they can. Jeffers plays it back. It's a great chance for Azulo! And it's a save again from Ollie Wright. And another corner for the Saints. It's, it's two in a row. And then we'll not waste any time again. Played short by Rizzullo. And now Rizzullo has to run onto it. Banton's laid him off. 
and Rizzullo versus Joe Felix has not gone well, but Berge has done great to win that back. Banton again on the ball. Can he find a particular pass? Jake Berger with a shot. Another save from Ollie Wright. And Mitchell Vies sends another ball into Clarence Park. If you want a free football, you can go and get it now. That will be answered very soon. Cross comes in from Rizzullo. It's very long, but towards Sam Brown. There's a bit of a skirmish. And Ollie Wright does just keep it in. A big shout from the St Albans City players, but there is no added time. Unbelievable. After all of that, there's no added time. I almost cannot believe that, but that is it. The contest ends at Clarence Park, and what was crunch time for the Saints has pretty much guaranteed that playoffs might not be possible.